So uh, my name is Chris Howell and I work at the University of Cambridge uh, in the Department of Biochemistry and my lab is, is interested in a, a wide range of aspects of the biology of, of photosynthetic organisms and that includes uh, both eukaryotic microalgae and also prokaryotic microalgae, cyanobacteria, blue-green algae. We've enjoyed working with it very much, um, and it's been been really interesting to to try it out. We've we've particularly been doing work with cyanobacteria in it, um, and we've done, for example, work looking at the effects of um, different light levels and different changing light levels on on wild type strains and various mutants that we're interested in. I, I think one of the things that's that's been particularly useful has been the the, the kind of control of light levels that um, the, the device affords, and because a lot of a lot of conventional um, illuminated incubators, for example, will give you the light on for a period of time and then the light off and so on, and that's that's not really um, how things work in the real world because light increases and then light goes down again. So to have that kind of flexibility has been particularly valuable I think and actually it turns out that how light changes does does influence the phenotype of different mutants quite significantly. The, the consensus I think from from the people in the lab who've been doing experiments is that it is it is easy to use um, and, and easy to to control to set it up how you want it um, and to, as I said, to have that degree of flexibility and particularly in our case in controlling the light levels has been something that, that, that they've found particularly useful. <laughs>